Good Sunday night, San Antonio. I'm meteorologist Mia Montgomery with this weather authority update. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend. Beautiful out there Saturday. Today was still nice, but we did manage to see a little bit more moisture work its way back into the area. So because of that, a slightly warmer start by wake up time Monday. We're in the 50s and 60s in and around the San Antonio area. More cloud cover will be the theme tomorrow as well. We could find a few sprinkles out there near San Antonio throughout the first half of the day, mostly cloudy into the afternoon. Overall, daytime highs looking to top off in the low 80s here for the most part. Now, I did mention we do have the potential to find a few sprinkles out there for the morning drive, and then especially across our southeastern counties, the coastal plains area could see some patchy fog reduce visibility in a few spots out that way. Notice into Monday afternoon, the cloud cover still sticks with us, and then into Monday evening, it's possible we may need to monitor for an isolated strong storm, especially the farther north and west that you go. We'll keep eyes on that. A general uptick in some of that shower activity, though, by Monday night and into the early portions of our Tuesday as we see our next cold front work its way into the area there as well. That is going to drop temperatures closer to the 70 degree mark by Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons. You also will notice a healthy northeast wind Tuesday as well, generally gusting upwards of about 35 miles per hour at times. Now throughout the upcoming week, pretty much each day we'll keep an isolated chance for rain, maybe a stray rumble of thunder in the forecast. So not going to touch everybody each and every day, but probably a good idea to keep the umbrella in the car just to be on the safe side. Another chance for a few storms arrives Thursday night. You can stay still windy for the second half of the week and a bit warmer as well. Daytime highs near 80 Thursday and into Friday before we see a second cold front to work its way in just ahead of next weekend.